My name is Sherry Johnson, and I am Director of Academic Programs for the Latin American and Caribbean Center at Florida International University in Miami. My specialty is Latin American history and environmental history, the history of disasters, El Nino, La Nina, and historical climatology. I am very proud to be an alumna of the Rachel Carson Center here in Munich, where my time was absolutely wonderful. My most recent book deals with environmental change and social change and political change generated by a warm anomaly in the 18th century that led to a series of hurricanes and droughts that affected every aspect of life. The social aspect is one of the most interesting aspects of looking at this historically. We know, for example, that disaster will make boundaries go away, will make social boundaries change. And so, for example, a person who is of lower status in a disaster circumstance can automatically be lifted to a hero status depending upon how he or she behaves. The interesting aspect about this is that in a mixed, a mixed community, a community of varied ethnic origins, the status disappears. Status based on ethnicity disappears. People do not care the color of the arm that reaches down to save them. And so, in this case, disaster can be an actually positive aspect. This also extends to the people in charge, to the authorities. Depending upon the way the authorities behave in the aftermath of a disaster will determine whether they enjoy the support of the population. And if they don't enjoy the support of the population, it can leave, lead to political unrest, it can lead to rebellion, it can lead to actual uh, riots in the streets. And so if, for example, you have a constable or a governor, when the hurricane is just ending, the governor waited in the side of his house, waiting to go out and to begin to mobilize his population. That governor was seen as a hero. On the other hand, if you have a governor who was hiding inside his house, hoping that nothing would happen to him, not caring about the people, that governor is remembered as a very bad governor. These actions are memorialized. They're memorialized in a lot of ways, <clears throat> which leads to the question of the culture of disaster. For example, the governor who was a positive governor, poems were written about him, songs were written about him, positive songs that were sung in taverns and bar rooms. On the other hand, the governor who was the true coward, the population began to whisper behind his back and talk badly about him. And so the culture that emerged out of a different event is very significant in, even in terms of the 18th century.